I'm talking to you. Why you can't wear green suit? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor in chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? I, what is it? I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. All right. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. See, yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear green suit? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor in chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Wait, I, what is it? I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Told me that has white now. They have to take this white off. <laughs> Who are you, sir? And producer. Just get me somebody. Anybody with the next available flight. Uh -huh. You have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know. I asked you. I want anybody, but not that girl. Uh -huh. no, that's ah, go in there. Let me show you your room. See, dear. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear green suit? You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor in chief of this magazine. Was it Ramon I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? Mr. Toplo, what is your home? So we, we can, you can share it Producer. later on the, uh, what's on my wall, right? Producer, supporter, events, event foot manager. <laughs> My name is Kike Diamond. Introduction. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions about acting, the roles. Huh? Let's go. Sorry, mate. Is it go live? So what can we do now that people? You just share it to people out there. So we're on live now. Me, so, share. So if I go to your page, go to Adeyaga, Adebayo. No, I need you to. He can be doing it because. He can. He can be looking at people that are watching as well. Yeah, that's what that one. Yeah, so you can share it. It's on now. Go down a bit. It's on. 
So we'll go to your yeah, page. Go, go, go back up, sorry. Adega, Mr. Adega. No, that's not the one. This, this one I'm showing now. I don't know why you can't see. Let me. <laughs> I did. Anyway, you can share it with us later. Sure. If you share it now, it's good because your people can see and they can watch and they can call in to ask you. Are, are you in Nobu? I mean, okay. Let me let me go to mine. <laughs> I know what to do now. I'll put it on mine. Mine is just streaming. Okay, go to go to Kike Diamond Noble Police. It's not. It's, 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 it's not, not going. <laughs> it's your. Oh, I'm sure they share it well. Sorry, Facebook. Kike Diamond Noble Police. You will bring me out straight. It's a public um, download. That's where it's K I K E. Sorry, Uncle. Okay. Together, people. Together, people. Together. Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Wait, I I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man! Just get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. See, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why you can't work with you? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor in chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? Raymond is single, he doesn't have a ring on his finger, he wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Wait, I, Just get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. I can't wait for this. No, we'll put it on break, please. Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? Who made you into what you are today? And look at who made this. Are you being serious? Eight minutes ago. Good evening, everybody. Yes, it's Kike Diamond Anga with Noble Police. And I have with me. What's your name, please? Rosalind Sunny Adjose. Rosalind Sunny Adjose. And I also have with me. Chief Ken Please talk loud, my people know if you tell you. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Chief Ken Winfield. <laughs> oh gosh, I got the volume. He's ready up. Ah, I've got people online already watching. I've got Akwesi Michael. Thank you for joining. Olutaya. Olutayo, good evening. Thank you for watching. This is Kike Diamond. Today is purely interviews about a movie coming out. I won't tell you the name yet, so, so you have to stay tuned to listen to the name first. I will interview my beautiful lady. So please keep it cool. You know the number to call. I'll give you the number. It's 074 242 07882 242 is the number to call in in case you have a question 
for Sister Rosalie. Arose Justin in short form. Arose Justin. Mm. Okay. What brings you here today? Tell me about a little bit about yourself. Not too much. Though. I don't want to give them big. Mm. Maybe first time I interview. Anyway, hello viewers out there. My name is Rosalie Sunny and Jose. As you know, they call me RSA. I'm an actress, a movie producer, I'm a theater nurse, and then I'm also a writer. When you say theater nurse, I'm working in the theater. Working in the theater. Not theater, playing. No playing, <laughs> surgery. <laughs> what do you do there? Surgery. Yeah, okay. I'm a theater nurse, yeah, okay. qualified to okay. work with the doctor to do the surgery. Operations yeah. and things like that, okay. Yeah. And apart from that, what else do you do? I'm an actress and a movie producer. And how do you get involved in acting? Um, when you say how do you get involved in... In you acting, like, you know, what makes you join the acting field? I think it's a passion, yeah. Okay. I love it and then I decide to follow my dream. That's good. Yeah. And how long have you been an actress? I've been acting since 2005. Wow. And from where did you get started? From London, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But do you go to Nigeria and London? I do yeah. go to Nigeria often. So yeah, Most of sense. my films are always international, a mixture of Nigeria and London. Okay. Yeah. I don't want it to be Sister Rosaline alone. What bring you here today? Um, actually, I'm here to promote my movies. You know, movie with uh, RSA. It started in a strange land. Don't tell them the title to bear. <laughs> don't give, they don't give them too much <laughs> now, <okay>. eh? <laughs> what is your field in this? Yeah, I was um, behind the whole production. Okay. So you can say I'm the production manager. Okay. Okay. So have you been producing a lot in London? Um, actually, not London, but Nigeria. Okay. This is my first in London because I really decided to bring me back into the industry. Okay. I actually branched off a little bit. So I branched off for a while, but um, I really say when she called on me, she said she has a, a project, a massive one, that she needs me to come and mm. work with her. Okay. So I had to dust off the... And come over. And come back. So you came all the way from Nigeria? No, no. Oh, okay. you're here, but you stopped then coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been um, an experience working with her because okay. she's got so much to offer. Good. And would you be doing it again? So I'm talking to you now. We have, <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have loads of projects, wow. you know. Good. So how many movies have you done so um, far? In total, I would say about six films, yeah. Okay. Six or seven films, yeah. Wow. And what is your current project that you're on? In a strange land. Which is? Coming out very coming soon. Coming out, yeah. Right? Night of June at the and night house. I beg, don't Sorry. give them too much. Yeah. <laughs> because they have to come to the show. <laughs> exactly. So we're just going to eat them small, small. small. <laughs> and what kind of roles have you performed throughout your career? Um, you mean in... Yeah, in acting field. What have you, you know, what roles have you played? I've, um, the last project I did was um, with Toimo which I played the role of a, a very naughty daughter that started off well. But I, w I wouldn't say my role was naughty. It was life situation that turned me into being naughty. Okay. Because it's, it's, the, the movie is about um, a family that has been cursed. Generational curse was following them from a little child till she was a big child. Mm. So if she didn't know they've given wow. out to some Olokun, some river goddess. She was a river goddess from the child from her childhood, okay. and growing up into a river goddess, she thought she could just live a normal life like mm. everyone else. Mm -hmm. Wow! But growing up was very difficult for her, wow. so that kind of threw me off balance. So were you satisfied <laughs> with it? <laughs> it was okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. And when you say producer manager, what is the role and the job of producer manager? Okay. The, the work of a production manager is to have a budget of the production to oversee the production in terms of the expenses, the location, the safety of the cast and crew. Everything encompasses every and anything that has to do with the production. 
So everybody answers to you. Mm. You make sure there is no shortage of anything. You make sure that whenever artists need to be on set, if it means waking them up, they have to be on set at the appropriate time. Wow. So if anything goes wrong in the course of the production, you will be held responsible because you are supposed to manage mm. the entire production. And who do you have at your bottom part? Like, do you control? Who do you control? Actually, everybody, because okay. you have the the continuity guy, you have the, the director who mm. is the boss on set, okay. but you have the, the light guys, the camera guys, the sound guys, the, the, the artist, you know, you have the location manager, mm. everybody answers to you because you have to be sure that what you are, what you set out to do is exactly what you're going to do and time factor is necessary in production. Mm. So if you are renting a place, for instance, to, to spend uh, like six to seven hours there to, to shoot a, a scene or two, mm. if you just have to work within that time frame because if you work on anything outside the time frame, you are paying more. Okay. So the duty of the project manager is to make sure, the production manager rather, is to make sure that you have to work within the specified time. Okay. That's exactly what we do. Thank you. Have you done theater play before? No, in churches. Not okay. as a so what's the difference between the movie and theater? Mo movie, you can take 100 takes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Cut. the part. <laughs> <laughs> Action. No, I don't want to like that. With the theater. In theater, you either you get it right or you get booed out. Just like we're live now. Exactly. So anything, anything, they will take it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, before I go all, um, along, let me say hello to people that are watching. Hello, everybody. You know how I do it. If you want me to say hello to you, please say hello to me so I can mention your name. I don't know if you guys are watching in silence. If you don't know, if you don't want mommy to know you're watching and you don't want daddy to know you're watching i don't want to go by you know my ibon that i do here i'm not allowed to use the real thing so my grandma when i spoke just dodge your head that's my grandma here <laughs> good evening auntie titi shita bay um yeah it's only auntie titi that said good evening and um olutaya olutaya i've said good evening my pp even if you say hello or no say hello i will still say hello Good afternoon, good evening. The weather is so fine out there, so I don't even know if we're in the morning, afternoon, or evening yet. Mm -hmm. I have with me Rosalind, oh, sorry, RSA for short. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't break my goat teeth. <laughs> and I have Chief Ken, um, he's the producer manager. Um, I have Esther Ajayi, your birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday to you in advance from Noble People International Magazine. This is Kiga Diamond, Noble Police. Tell me about an area in which you would like to improve in actress. Um, in acting, I, I would like to see more. I like to see more from RSA. Okay. Yeah, I like to drill RSA to. You know, th there are some roles they can cast you in. People will be debating. Mm, we should be able to carry that role. We should be able to do it. I like to see that challenge in RSA. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can hear that. So. Surely looking for a dress challenger, <laughs> not her. I <RSA. laughs> And comparing London to Nigeria, working in London and Nigeria, what's the difference? Uh, the difference is quite, it's quite clear. Like in Nigeria, it's more difficult. Mm. You see, the movies people watch on Nollywood channels and not you know, channels and other places. People just see the beauty of the production. Mm. But behind the production, there's a lot of hassle, mm. a lot of trouble. You understand? Yeah. Because here, we have an uninterrupted, uninterrupted power supply. Back home in Nigeria, you need to hear the sound of the generators <laughs> taking the heat. You need to see the length of the cable where you have to run it to keep them from the boom mic. You know, so it takes a lot to produce the movies, and they are really, really doing it there. But here, you have everything for you to just go on and do what you want to do. You have all the support, which they lack back home. I mean, with someone like I said, I can open all doors. It's quite easy here than in Nigeria, where you have to keep going, begging from one place to another. So I think it's 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 much more 
different <laughs> than Nigeria. But all the same, the guys back home in Nigeria, thumbs up, they are doing a wonderful job there because it's not easy. Thank you. So do you have a thing that you could have done a bit better in any particular role? Um, I don't know. Maybe, um, what should I say? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. In any production we do, we always strive to be better in it. Okay. Because if you don't, that means you don't want to grow. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Talking about equipment. Yeah. Again, I'm going to refer back That's to Nigeria. Right. <laughs> so, with the equipment, because, you know, in Nigeria, we see all these gadgets going around, boom. By London, there's no space for that one. No. You can't just go on the street and start shooting, boom. You dare not <laughs> try it. Yeah. If you must shoot the scene, you will definitely will apply for the license and permission to do what you want to do. You understand? It comes easy back home. Though we have restrictions in some certain areas, it's not like it's free for all. But here in the UK, there are areas where you can actually use the camera. But if you really want to use some certain areas, you just have to write and get your approval. Okay. You know, because if you bring someone's face into your movie without mm. the person's you permission. permission, my sister, you are paying. Mm. The person can sue you mm. and decide. You don't know where the person told the. The, sure. the people where they are going, <laughs> they might be in a different location, and they told them they are in a different location only for your movie to bring them in that location. Uh, are, uh, but you can get away in Nigeria. Nigeria, uh, you'll be happy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. maybe, yes, maybe, maybe they can be the, the bread seller. <laughs> you, see, you see, when they're the the bread seller, that's how she got into it. Get, you know, but the good ones were also. <laughs> something out of it too. Thank you. So, which has been your favorite character that you have performed? You mean as per film? Yeah. What has been your favorite one so far? Labo was quite uh, was quite hilarious. You you see RSA in like some the tough like yeah I can do it kind of London girl, but. In a way, when she kind of got to Nigeria, you need to see the soft part of her when she sees Sofa. Mm. Because London girl, they think they're very tough. Mm. They think they're hard. <laughs> it's because they've not seen Sofa. When you see Sofa, the, that toughness in you, will just, mm. it, it will melt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that role was quite, was quite good for me. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you. So what are your strong points as an actress? Um... I'm somebody that doesn't, if I know I, I, I want something done at a particular time or I want something and someone is telling me you can't have it, mm. I'll tell you no, I can. Okay. I can have it. If I know it's possible to have it and I know you're punishing me for it for a reason, mm. I'll go all out to make sure I get that thing done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how long does it take to produce a movie? Well, it all depends on a lot of things. You have to consider the script, you have to consider the cast, you have to consider location. Okay. So, in some areas, I know back home in Nigeria, some of the movies you see can be shot just one day. Wow. Yes, because um, the camera they rent is for one day, <laughs> the generator they rent is for one day, the bus they rent is for one day. So everything has to be done that day. If it, if it gets to the next day, you have to pay extra money extra for everything. Money, no matter you understand? <laughs> so, but it all depends on your budget. Okay. You understand? Because making movie, it all depends on what you can afford. Mm. It's not just you getting up and say, I want to shoot a movie. If you need a very good camera, if you don't own that camera, you have to rent the camera. And when you go for the camera, they tell you, Oh, sorry, the camera, because so people are using it. You have to wait till they finish their production before mm -hmm. you can use it. And maybe then you already have plans for other things. Mm -hmm. So everything has to be with you getting the equipment and making sure that what you have is good for. Because sometimes these people, when they rent it out to you, they tell you everything is okay. Mm -hmm. By the time you take the light to sight <laughs> to shoot, the bulb, Bonds, you have to go and buy the ball. But here in the UK, it's a different ball game. <laughs> That's where the management comes into place. 
if you are going to shoot a movie for six weeks or two months, you know that this is with what and what you need to do. Yeah. Maybe for, for instance, you have to travel to Wales to shoot a particular scene, and the cast and crew, you have to assemble all together. Mm -hmm. Some can actually tell you, look, I can't make it to time because they have another production. Mm -hmm. So you have to walk around the calendar of these ones. And by this time, I'm telling you, my sister, the, the, the movie is already it's cool, yeah. on. Wow. So you have to wait to get it right. <clears throat> but if you don't want to get it right, you can just drive through. You understand? Mm -hmm. But the fact remains that for any quality movie you're putting out there, it takes a lot of time. So it's not something you can say, I'm going to do it under three days or one week. Except you have planned from the onset, having everything in check, knowing that, look, once I start this thing, I will wrap it up within three or four days. Okay, thank you. And when it comes to making money from a movie, because most times I myself wondered, how did they do it? Because most times the film comes out, boom, is on YouTube. So how do you guys do it? Yeah, as you see, the, the problem with the industry is the same problem people of the past suffered and the same problem people the future generation the future ones will still suffer yeah yeah now what we're saying is this piracy is a pain it's something that i don't know how they can eradicate piracy because people spend money spend their time suffer grind to get a movie only for one guy to sit in his office and just and just duplicate the, the movie <laughs> like i don't care you know and make, because they have the market yes you understand mm -hmm. so what we what we do is now that we have the resources to go into cinema mm -hmm. and showcase this movie to the people mm -hmm. that actually need to see this movie because if you show the movie and the people don't see the movie there's no point shooting the movie. Yeah. So when you get this movie done, you keep your movie, make sure it's within your, your listen, what's the confined um, box or whatever place you are keeping it because mm -hmm. people cannot can download your system online. Mm -hmm. You keep it, store it in a very cool place where no one can access it. Then when it's time for the cinema, you take it to the cinema, show this movie, even though we know some people come with their camera mm -hmm. and they just sit there and be recording the cinema, the, the movie. You get this thing done, then after you're done with the cinema, then you can approach your marketer and okay. put it into DVDs. Okay. Then after the DVDs, before you can talk with the television houses, mm. so that by the time you make your profit from the DVD, mm. the sales, then you can put it out there on TV. Okay. To continue the good work, but you know, now mostly and mainly people don't really buy DVDs anymore. It's just my own, you know, concern <laughs> sometimes that like, how are they making it? People are not buying. Um, and how long does it take? Let me go back. How long does it take for you to how many theaters do you go into before making your money? It's uh, it depends on the population, you understand? Yeah, because each theater has capacity. If you have a very large capacity, mm. you can hit it there. If it, if it's not big enough, and it's it sometimes it, it depends on the people. Like for instance, in exchange land now, we are having offers from other European states. Yeah. People ask us to come to Holland, okay. that's Amsterdam, right? Uh, Turkey, Turkey, you know. So it's just the people demanding this thing. Say, look, we you need to come and show this in our own theater so we can watch. You understand? Yeah. By the time you go about showing this in different locations, then you can always smile back, you know, but the capacity in, in this location is what really matters most. You understand? Yeah. The more people, the yeah. better. Okay, thank you. What have you learned from the directors that you have worked with throughout the year or so far? That's a big question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My first project, Labor Life is a Journey, was a, it was a huge success, and I wouldn't take that success alone to myself. I would say a big shout out to Femi Fade that did them um, Igiari way. Okay. Yeah, he did the movie with me, and then I learned a lot from him how to how to to start a project from the beginning 
and to the to the end it, it took labor really like its own baby mm. yeah thank you so what are your educational background <laughs> <laughs> before i came into media i was a qualified nurse i I've, I've been working in london as a theater nurse for the past say 15 to 18 years so i'm a qualified nurse in here in the uk and i think that's it really. okay <laughs> so from where have you learned acting acting i went to uh, a six-month acting school because i believe in any profession you find yourself you have to sort of know the a bit of the profession so when I discovered that I am being called into the movie industry, I, I decided to self-educate myself in a London City Academy for about six months. So the course I did there was from, the title of the course is from, from script to screen. Okay. Yeah. So how do you think film stars handle their popularity? How do they handle it? Yes. <laughs> What can you do then just to say hello and <laughs> smile at people all the time? <laughs> We're going to go into short break so that they can see a little bit of the trailer. Yes. Okay. So just for them. Go in there. Let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why can't you wear queens? Devil! You're not here to study. You're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the corner? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Stupid! I, what is it? I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. Um, you have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. Ah, go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear queens? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the corner? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Stupid! I, what is it? I, I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. Um, you have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. Ah, go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear queens? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the corner? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Stupid! I, what is it? I, I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. Um, you have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. Ah, go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear queens? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the corner? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Stupid! I, what is it? I, 
I gave you my daughter, and you took her to a strange land. Just get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. Go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wake with Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the back? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? I, what is it? I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange land. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. Go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wake with Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the back? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? I, what is it? I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange land. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. Yeah, I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. Ah, go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. Entertainment. 
mind Introducing Jajira One Lady Hey, hey ya son de de mi Hey, 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 ayy Hey, 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 ayy Hey, 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 I'm 
<laughs> okay, my viewers are out there watching you, so we want you to just give us one little scene of acting as a mad woman. <laughs> Don't take out your wig at my wig. You cannot do that on screen. But you said acting, you can do anything. I'm, you say mad woman. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm <Yes>. doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, welcome back, our people. It's good to laugh. We don't want to bore you, so we have to put this into it. So, are you still acting? Have you finished? No. You still ahead. want the money? Yeah, man. but don't take a week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what kind of roles do you prefer and why? Um, as an actress, you, you don't prefer a particular role. No, an no. actress, you're very versatile. They can give you to play someone's wife, you can be someone's mom, you can hmm. be someone's auntie, you can be sissy that are just being wed, you can, you can be anything. Okay. That's why they call the role an actor. So when it comes to romantic role, where they have to touch everything <coughs> everywhere, mm. and I guess you're married, then of course. daddy is there watching and ah. Uh. My dear, <laughs> it's a job we're doing. Because in front of all the romancing, and there's like millions of people watching you. So you can't really take that acting deep mm. down. So it just, it, you act and it turns there. Okay. Yeah. Have you had so you just produce? I've had my fair share of acting back in the days. Uh, you know, your, your question you asked there on about mm. the theater and the movies, which I started quite early as a theater stage, okay. stage performance, right? Okay. And that's when I, I learned a lot, like poetry recitation, a lot of things, you know. So okay. that was what actually molded me into who I am today. But my dad wouldn't want me to go into acting. I would disown me if you become an actor. You know what I mean? Back home, that's I would disown you. You know, so there's always that thing. thing. Don't, don't get disowned though. You know? But that's a struggle that I have then. But okay. now it's just, look, if you, if, you, if you identify something about you and you think it brings you happiness, Please go for it. Okay. Learn from my lessons. Forget about it. So to your question, yes, I am. And also, this next project, the Muddy Space. Watch, watch. <laughs> Nietzsche, I'm coming into You know, I just told you we went outside to do a little bit of thing. Remember this space. You will see this face too. This face screen. So, <laughs> now I'm ready. <laughs> okay, going back to, you know, daddy don't want us to be an actress or actors and things like that. I, I noticed that in Nigeria, our parents don't want us to be a nurse. They don't want us to be mechanic. They don't want us to be hairdresser. And here in London, no, Jesus Christ, if you're doing mechanic in Nigeria, continue. When you get to London, it's money. Because, you know, there's a difference between Even that. hairdressing is a lot it's, of money It's a lot London. of money in London. Yeah. A nurse is big money in ah. London. I'm not saying you should not be contacting now. <laughs> when I say money, it's not easy in London, no. We have to pay bills, so. <laughs> So, who is your favorite actor? Um, oh, that's a big question. <laughs> and my always answer to that is, if you want me to have you as my favorite actor, you have to be able to do what I can do mm. and do triple move. Wow. Which I found in, in the movie industry, mm. I don't see anybody that can do what I can do. Mm. So, I don't have a favorite actor. Okay. <laughs> I'm Aris's <RSA's> fan. <laughs> so give me a few tips to be a successful actress. Number one, you have to be very humble. Very, very humble. There's no point starring in one or two films. You think you're an A-list star already. You think you're there. 
people call you, just you, you snap your <laughs> finger at them. Be humble. They always there's the book that I read I said talent is not enough. Mm. Your talent as an actress is not enough to take you where you want to go. Because if you act, people love your film. It is the people that you're you're snapping your fingertip at, it's those people that got you to where you are. Mm. If you produce the film, nobody buy it, mm. nobody come out to watch you, mm. you put stuff out there, nobody likes it, you wouldn't like it. True. So you have to be very humble. True. Yeah? That's Thank one. You. Okay. I won't humble. give you everything. You won't give me everything. No. One more for them now. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, you have to educate yourself. Okay. Yeah. That's there very isn't important. very important. There's no need to say you want to act like a, uh, like a mad woman. Mm. You have to have a book that backs it up. Mm. If a mad woman is scratching her teeth, why is it scratching her teeth when she's okay. acting like mad? Education is very important. Very. Yeah. Like I'm doing events and you know I'm studying events. That's like it. I want theory and practical. That's it. Just like it when you're driving. Together. If you only have practical, you don't have theory in a life. That's that's <laughs> it. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> so um so is it true that you have to change yourself in order to be accepted into entertainment like acting? Change. Yeah, you, you know, like okay, like now you're you're now is you. When you're acting, you know it's not you. Yeah, <laughs> but to change for the world, for them to accept me, I think that's a no-no. Okay. Yeah. You should never change for anyone. If you're Rosalind Sunny, I just said, that's who you are. Okay. Is it that you take me or you don't? Thank and you. in real life or in reality, when you're a natural, it's not everybody that will like you. So you need to accept that as well. Mm. It's not everybody that will like your character. Mm. It's not everybody that will like that even though you're ugly or you're pretty. It's not everybody that will like your face. So you need to get used to that, that even though I'm a naturalist, some people in the world won't like me. Yeah. Some people will like me. So you have to get used to that. And okay. don't change for anybody. Thank you. Yeah. And when it says producing, who do you produce? Just anybody? Or do you search them first? You want to know them first? Or you just, let me try it. Let me do it. No, I mean, when you talk about production, mm -hmm. it's, um, what I say, it won't count as a lot of like say when she come to you now and said, Okay, I want you to be my pro um you know, production manager. Okay. What do you look at first in her? Oh yes, um you see we have um producers that uh out there looking for people to work with, you understand? When I and Aroise had a chat, remember our first chat and I saw the vision, you know, she she was trying to share with me. And that's um, one of the things I like about her, she inspires people. And when she was telling me the story, we actually had a different movie to shoot, a okay. different movie entirely, you know. But because of her love for humanity, because of the way she sees things different from people I worked with in the past, when she came up with a different storyline, I said, something is bothering me. I have to put it out there, mm -hmm. you know. And that's exactly what we are marketing now. Okay. You understand? So back to your question. I have to see the passion, you know, because it's not all about me going to to uh, what's it called location with any producer and just get on with the job. There are jobs that come your way that you just have to decline it mm. because you're going to put your name on that job. By the time they look down, they say production manager, your name will be there. So you have to be choosy, if, you, if I use the word. Okay. If, listen, if you drink from every cup that is handed to you, that's how you drink poison. Mm. So you have to be choosy. You understand? Okay. So it's not just anyone and everyone. If you are watching me out there and you want me to be your production manager, your script has to be tight. Your cast must be what they call gen -gen. <laughs> you understand? You have to get it right. Because I'm not gonna cast your art your your what's it called, your artist for you. You have to get a good artist director or artistic director who will cast these ones and get the script right because if the script is not okay, there's nothing you can do about it. So once these two things are in place, every other thing we can get it one together. What about for beginners? You know, you need to give them chance. Yeah, but your script, I don't have to give your script chance. 
Okay. So just looking at it last one. Get, no, get. When you get the script, you go through. If it's not it, it's not. Okay. You get it. You have to get your script right. Okay. If you get it right, then we can talk business. Okay. okay. I can shed more light into that. When he's talking about your script has to be right, you, you want to target some, um, um, some group of people out there that mm -hmm. want to buy your product. Okay. So if your script is not marketable from the beginning, there is no point of going into a production. Okay, thank you. I'm yeah. still coming back to that one. <laughs> so what is the good age to begin to pursue acting career? From any age. Any age. Yeah. There's, there's, no, baby, yeah. there's no age limits. Mm. Mm. There is baby because <laughs> as long as you're a human being, yeah, you have a role to play in the industry. Mm. Okay. If you're 90 year old and the storyline is about a 90 year old, you don't have to spend much money on makeup. If you have good, bring you there and put it there. It's true. So that's what it is. It's true. So what is um what advice can you give someone out there that want to come into acting now? Um, I would say get connected to the right people. Okay. Very important because uh, we we hear a lot of stories out there that people want to come into the industry because of the glam. Yeah. Nollywood industry behind scene is not all about the glam. You have to work for it. Mm. So get connected with the right people, you will fly. Get connected with the right people. <laughs> if you have question you want to ask, sorry people, sorry. Um, I have Shane Odebi watching me, Lanre Otwara watching me, um, Titilayo Chitabe, Pastor Topekuti, thank you, nice one. Um, Auntie Shane said, that's true, and well done. Thank you, thank you all for joining. I have, um, sorry, I don't have good memory. Now that I don't have chance in being acting, if my memory is going, <laughs> if they not give me a script, I say go and read. I come back, I said I don't remember. Jesus Christ, you. <laughs> um, we're not going to, about the movie now. So we're going to do a little, just a little short clip, but not too long, just the game, game beats. So that for us that are just joining in, we can see a little bit of what the movie is about. Then I'm going to ask a question about the movie. So just stay tuned while you just watch the game bits. And book the date down. I He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? I, what is it? I, I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wait, Prince? Yeah? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? I, what is it? I, I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wait, Prince? Yeah? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? 
Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. Are you being serious? I, what is it? I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. Mm -hmm. You have a very beautiful home. I know I ask you, I want anybody, but not that girl. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. See, yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's gonna be and it's gonna look like fantastic. When I watched just one minute of it, I said I must watch this thing on that day. I must not miss it. Me and my uniform, we are carrying ourselves there to watch it on that day. What day is this movie coming out? Um, it's 9th of June at the Lighthouse Cinema Hall in Camberwell. Camberwell. You're going to be there for sure. Oh, definitely. I mean, Very I have sure. to be there. Hmm. So what sort of person is going to love this movie? Who are the people that is going to love this movie? Mm, first of all, I would say people that love Nollywood. Okay. And people that love to, to have a movie that has a message. Mm. Yeah, not just to entertain. Okay. Yeah. So, what's challenging about bringing this script to life? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll take it from there. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of the challenges is uh, actually putting out something that you know that somebody is really and like. You, you see, you hear these stories about modern day slavery, mm -hmm. and you, ha you have a script, mm -hmm. and you're bringing you're bringing the script out to 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 to, to screen. So people actually see what their fellow humans are going through. And it's not just one of those things that, you know, let's get it done. You have to bring out the emotions mm. from the from the artist. You have to put a lot to make that mentality that people see as norm to you know come to reality. Let them see that whoa. So people actually suffer this much. People are actually treated this way. So, you know, the artists, they had a lot of challenges on set. Mm. You have to make them, someone has to cry when it's time to cry. Mm. Someone has to show that face. Give me that face of someone that's <laughs> going through slavery. Mm. So, if you are exposed here in the UK, jolly nature, always happy, never had anything to do with slavery or experience anything like that, and they've been transformed within that time frame, we need you to. Be in this character, put out this thing. Exactly what we went through. Mm. There was a scene, I'm, I'm, not I'm just going to share it here because you definitely won't see it there in the movie. <laughs> I always say, as Cynthia was so mad with the house help that the house help was washing the kitchen, the kitchen, and I think she, she broke a plate or something. The way she reacted, mm. there was a little boy on set who was shaking. Mm. With tears, he was crying, he was scared. We had to comfort him oh. and comfort him. I said, Look, she's just acting, <laughs> it's just part of the job. <laughs> and he was crying, he felt oh. the rage. He was like, No, like, why What's would she be on? so mean mm. to the house head? But that's what production does mm. it brings out the best, it brings out the worst for everyone around there. Mm. You can be behind the camera, and a particular scene will make you cry. You just can't hold back. You will shed tears because you've seen something that you never thought was possible. Or because of the nature of the job we do, we make any impossible into possible. Thank so that's you. What it is. Thank you. I'm gonna let, let her act as if something just happened. She has to cry. You like it or not? I have <laughs> tissue here. It's part of acting. You must show our people that this thing you are born with it. So. So my sister will show us that she, you know, something just happened. Let's say something just happened, and you have to wait before you even start crying. Mm. What is the first thing you think about before crying? You mean uh, in what when you're acting? It, yeah. Like you now, I'm just, asking you to act. Too. No, you just you, it's, it's, when you read the script. Obviously, before you the, you go on set, mm. they give you a script like a, a month or a okay. week before the time. So you'll have studied the script, and you know that at a particular time, I'm going to cry. So you have to sort of psych yourself into that mood mm. so that when they get there, they don't have to keep waiting action, mm. 
no cry. Action. <laughs> give me tears. No cry. So you have directors that are like, so give directors me tears. Are like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying you for this. I want the tears. I want the sorrow. I want the... There's so no you, onion, no, no onion. I was gonna ask no, that because no, no last onion. time, last week, I was cooking. No rock. <laughs> no, 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 no. No matter like that. To, you have to put it out there. Well, let's see, meet some good director that was okay because of our time. <laughs> if you're hiring the venue, you have to be there, out of there by so so time. Okay, we'll help you. Just put some little stuff, but I want to see the mood. Mm, yeah. Even though the tears not coming, people have to feel that. Oh my God, what she's going through. Somebody is actually beating her. You know. She's about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what would the audience be thinking about this, why going home? About, you know, what they just watch, say, they come, which they will come on the night. Mm -hmm. And after watching the show, what would be, be their reaction? The, I think their reaction will be very. Um, Cruel towards T Cynthia, the madam. They will, they will be like, "Oh my God, is this in London or is this in Nigeria?" Mm -hmm. That's the question they're gonna ask themselves. Is this person for real, or is this just acting? But what I'm gonna tell them on the day is not acting; it's real. Mm -hmm. This is a story of a young girl that have been tortured like this in the hand of a human being like myself and yourself. So the question is, this is happening in London, how do we overcome this? Mm. That is why we've come to produce this film in a strange land, to raise the awareness. Mm. Mm. Because the Bible says, sorry to quote the Bible, say, my people pray because they lack of knowledge. If you don't know your next door neighbor is enslaving somebody indoor, mm. if you don't know there's a child that is living in there, that you, you can peep through the window, you see the child, but the child has never been let out. Mm. You need to question it. Mm. You need to raise the flag. Okay. But in England, we're too enclosed. Oh, it's not my business. It's their family business. No. Mm. We're saying modern day slavery is real and it's an act that is not meant to be happening in our society, especially in Nigerians. I'm a passionate Nigerian. Anything that will drag my country's name into the mud, I'm against it. Mm. Thank you. I'll, I'll just take it from there. You see, after the movie, people will have to definitely take the message from it. Because when we talk about slavery, we have to reflect on our upbringing in Nigeria. Mm. When you can afford to have a big house and a car, <coughs> you go to the village and ask your brother or sister to give you their daughter that you want to take care of her. Mm. So she can have the same education your children mm. are having in the city. Only for the young girl or boy to get to your house mm. and she becomes the house head. You know, you don't even if you if I bet she goes to school, it might be the, the worst school. Wow. You know? So that's where it starts from. We should we should focus our attention back home and see how drivers are being abused by the madame, an official driver assigned to an official ogre. By the time the ogre takes him home. He becomes the, the, the wife's uh, the driver, <laughs> carries the bag, he goes to market. Meanwhile, maybe the work is 4 o'clock, they close. Mm. Then they will keep him till 9 o'clock, till 10 o'clock. Then they expect him to come 7 o'clock to come and pick a guy for the same government work. Mm. You see, this is slavery that our people mm. see and think it's okay, it's normal. You understand? So if we are watching this movie, we should reflect on the people back home. You know, these guys are not slaves. They are like you and I. Yes. You understand? Mm. One God, you know, for all of us. So let's live, let's love, and enjoy life. Thank you. That's the message. Bashiberu, Lashiboba, Bashiboba, no, Laberu. Somebody said, How can they get connected to the right people? As if you want to act, how can you get connected to, you know? Do you recruit people? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, we do. so we do. inbox Noble People International Magazine mm -hmm. will direct you to RSA. Did yeah. I get it right? Yeah. <laughs> so quickly, what role did you play in this movie? Ah, <coughs> you want me to say it? Yeah, no. If I say I feel, I, I feel vest and just daze you. Ah, no matter. <laughs> <laughs> A whole police, no be police, yo. <laughs> no, but please help me to pass my handcuff. <laughs> 
Anyway, jokes apart, I play the role of a very wicked person. Ay, ay, no, yeah. no, she, she, no, she, she was wicked. No, seriously. The, a role that is just opposite me. She was, yeah. she was wicked. So you need to come out and see that role. I'm not going to tell you what I did. No, no, she wasn't. So how is this character and you different? Was Very different? different. Very different. As soon, Sorry, as, you, as, soon as you finish watching that film, it's that Rosalie, I didn't know you are like this. <laughs> is it easier to play this character or to be yourself on, on, on stage? I would want to be myself any day, any time. Why would I want to be wicked to any human being? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you love about this character? I love it because it, it, it sort of... Um, tell the audience that, that there are some w- women out there that if they feel the whole world is around them, mm. the whole world is just supposed to be for them alone. Mm. But the question is, hello, you know, everybody is born to live their own life. Mm. So for the main fact that you have the whole world, you have big house, you're married, you got kids, mm. you got money, that doesn't mean the world should involve around you. Thank you. Yeah. And what do you hate about this character? That's, a, that's just, just well, it. What yeah. you know, okay. So what's the biggest challenge about taking this role? <sighs> taking the role, is, you have to act to be wicked. Okay. And then at the same time, you're the producer of the film. You have to make sure everything goes well on set. So that was a big, big challenge. Sometimes I, I tend to want to ask my production manager, somebody I just called me that they are hungry. What are you meant to be doing? And at the same time, you're you're about to get made up to go on set and mm-hmm. act. So you have to sort of switch to be nice and switch to be wicked. Okay. <laughs> it got to a point I, I totally freaked out. I yeah. forgot my lines. Yeah. And I, and I was gonna say something. <laughs> you know what happened was that when she actually had that problem, was you know she's very passionate about what she does. She was like saying. Can you imagine my my son? Mm. I'm not gonna say that name on air. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine my son's going through this thing? Mm. It was really like this whole thing is getting, you know, everybody felt it. Mm. You understand? And she's a mother. So, you know, definitely, you know, if you need to watch the movie to understand mm. what really happened. Mm. So that, that was that was a, the challenging time. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm emotional. Closely. Yeah. Okay. So who are the people that is going to be in this movie? You mean to the yeah. cast in it? Yes. Yeah, so we have um, RSA in it. We have Samu Biago. He's traveling all the way from mm, Nigeria yeah. to come and grace the occasion. We have some others. Okay. Ngozi <laughs> Thompson. We She's have there. William Kement. We have Dami uh, B. We have. Um, it's more or less full of London cast. Okay. We've, we've, yeah. We've got. Um, um, Larry King. Larry King. Larry King, yeah. yes. Yeah, he's, he's in the house. Toy. Yeah, we have Tony Moore. We have Lucien Morgan. Yeah. We have Emmy Benson. We have um, Indio O. James. Yeah, Indio. We have um, who else? Um, Ken. We have, else will be there, hopefully. We have Dr. Popola. We have Sheyo Abadare. Wow. Yeah. So we've got loads of yeah, people. Lots of people. Different, you know. And Mr. Kola himself yeah. will be there too. Okay. And Noble Police will be there too. William Kemmer. All the noble crew. <laughs> William Kemmer. So beside yourself, which actor in this production is going to blow people away? Um... I should, I should answer that question okay. because I mean, I was behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the one sightseeing yeah, and it's I think seen. there's going to be a lot of discovery. Mm. I'm not going to say more. There's going to be a lot of discovery. There are a lot of new talents. New talents. Okay. A lot of people are going to, you know, use this as a launching mm, pad. Yeah. Okay. So watch out for artists. We have a lot of young and upcoming actors and actresses okay. all in this production. So. Don't forget once again, if you like to be an actor, actress, inbox us. We'll direct you to RSA and our Chief Ken production manager. Um, they will go and put you through. Um, lastly, but not the least, before we go into advert and bring in one of the producer, right? No, um, promoter. Promoter, yeah. promoter, sorry. So if you could play any other character in this show, what would it be? Mm. What can I play? Well, I wouldn't suggest. I wouldn't say police <laughs> because she'd be so mean. I just arrest everybody. 
<laughs> you know? So, I mean, she, 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 she had... Anything. I'm not going to say. No, 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 no. Because you're going to give out... <laughs> You're gonna give out the whole thing. Okay. She could play something somebody else, but let's keep it there. Let's keep it there. So finishing up with, you know, we just finished this interview now. You step outside and you find ten million pounds. What would you do? Wow, ten million pounds. Mm. Then immediately my my ears will just go ding ding. I will be so blue. DSS will look for her. About whether you like you and I will be are so looking for her. So nice meeting you. If I want to act, no, you've got police now. If I, if you want, if you have a thing that you need a police woman, there's actually there's a police person now. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Okay. 
And when you say event manager, what is the event manager? What do they do? Well, Papa, when we talk about the management of an event, it's not a big task. You know, it's to make sure from day one the venue is secured, mm. the film reach out to the right people, to the people, to the public, then and to make sure that everything is intact. Mm. The actors, actresses, they get notified, those who are supposed to be there, so everything to be well arranged and well publicized. Okay. Thank you. And, you know, seeing this in a strange land, Ilu Ajoji. Hmm. Ilu Ajoji. Sorry. Ilu In Goyo Obama, I only understood that English. You know, I don't speak Yoruba. Because today I'm not speaking Yoruba. I am straightforward today. Oh, okay. Hmm. I can speak Yoruba, though. Ah, sorry, I can speak. Wonderful. Morning, wonderful. Mr. Toplotech Entertainment. One key, everybody. Tileto Cotton Connection. Thank you for watching. Ayaba Esther, I see you, ma. Um, Prince Ade TJ, thank you for watching. We have RSA here. What can you say about her? Well, actually, uh, I watched the, the, like, say, the trailer. The trailer of, not even in the Wow. The trailer of uh, Labo. Okay. So uh, when I watched Labo, why? Wow. I'll be dreaming that something will come up, mm. that both of us will work together. But fortunately, you see, it just came through the right channel, and I get contact. That, wow, there's a new movie come up in the straight line. I mm. said, wow, that's quite interesting. So when she gave me a contact, I said, no problem. You want it to only do what? Don't worry. God is there, and to protect the entertainment mm. is there. So when we met, I look at the script. I look at the, the flyers. I could see the picture speak. First thing, when they give you an, an event, you will look at the pictures. Does it speak? Okay. So when I look at the pictures, the image, I realize that it speak. So now, that is the first impression. The second impression is the venue. You know, because who are your target audience? Okay. You understand me? Because this kind of movie, this kind of film is a special film that everybody should come out to watch it. Mm. See how we enslave ourselves. Mm. Sometimes you are enslaving each other you may not know. Yeah. Sometimes it's indirectly. Sometimes it's intentionally. Mm. So how can we mm. have solutions to this? How can we solve it? Like some oh bought this lady from Nigeria, blah 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 blah. Oh, I bought this man from Nigeria, blah 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 blah. When you see at all, at the end of the day, woman will be a slaving man. Man will be a slaving woman. All this, how can we go about it? How can we put stop to it? Mm. We are the helpers of each other, mm. but we not come from heaven. Oh yes. So when I see this, I say, wow, this is a right channel to deliver this message in the straight mm. land mm. in the church. Everybody, even though God created us, we are what we are a stranger or not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we give to God determines what we receive from God. Mm -hmm. So what we are giving to to the nature, <coughs> and nature is you and I. Each individual person is a nature. So what you are trying to the nature, surely one day you will get it back, mm -hmm. indirectly or mm -hmm. other way around. So that is why we have to talk about this movie, we want it to reach out, we want people to turn out to yes. come and watch this movie because a lot of people are suffering mm. and they don't know how to get out of this problems. Talking about in a strange land, what advice can you give to men or women bringing husband or wife home and I don't they, they, want, they don't want them to go out of the house, they just want to keep them in the house. Is, they, is it part of slavery? Of course, it is part of slavery. What can you, what yeah. can you say to them? L number one, I would advise all Nigerians not to bring anybody into this country illegally. Because that's the one key area that somebody can use to enslave you in. Mm. The if you don't have the right paper, if you don't have the right channel to come in here, please, you just said something, I didn't hear what please was. don't. Because the moment you get here, mm. the, 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 this perpetrator, they feel that you don't have a mouthpiece mm. for yourself. They are ready to be your mouthpiece. Mm. And by being your mouthpiece is to tell you to jump and mm. you must jump. Thank you. 
thank you because yeah. i've had a story which is real story true story the person that happens to mm-hmm. she she was married to somebody they live together and she doesn't have you know mm-hmm. like you're saying and this man beat the hell yeah. out of her every day every day every day in the form of if you talk i will go and report you to the police if you say this i will go and do this to you if and this woman was this lady was beaten nakedly one day that the man went to take a knife but luckily she ran out she said she was the one that gave us the story she ran out in that middle of the night for her life and there's a, a, a english lady that helped her and now she's even living fine she said she was just thanking god because she they could have take her back or whatever but because of what happened at that night and she was naked but that man now suffered because the he had to go to court and this is you know true story mm-hmm. which still people are bringing people in mm-hmm. even child mind that and and they will lie to their parents back home that they're going to do a job they don't give them money and things like that and i guess this is um, part of yeah, what this the true is life story yeah that yeah. they're um, a, in a strange true land is about wow. No, so it it is a good storyline, which you know we need to encourage people more out there, you know, especially to educate people back home because yeah. we know the level of poverty mm. is so outrageous. But yeah. you don't want to throw yourself into a, a river that you know you yeah. can't swim. Mm. There's no point. I know the poverty is there in Nigeria, but please, people, guys, be wise. Mm. There's no point from jumping from fire pan to fire. Yes. At the end of the day, you have yourself to blame. Yeah. Like Mr. Top of Tech, we have an audio, I don't know if you listened to that audio, where a woman was crying out on WhatsApp. Mm. She said we should help them, that um, they lie to them, that they're coming to work. I forgot the country that she said they're in, that they're suffering 24-7, they're working. Mm. Even if they're sick, they have to. They, they will wake up 4 a.m. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They will work to 12 o'clock. Mm. Every day. Mm. No rest. So. And even though when... They say, ah, I'm sick. sick. It's just a day. Mm. It means that if you have a person, human feelings, boss. Yeah. If you don't have someone that has human feelings, it's just like three hours sickness. Mm. You have to go back to them. You see, number one, when we talk about slavery, um, it's firstly, how do we see ourselves? Mm. We like to oppress each other. Mm. We look down on everybody. That's why I like a statement say, Stop. The person you look down on, you may end up look up to it yeah. in the future. Yeah. But there are a lot of people that they don't overcome mm. the problem. You understand? Mm. Out of 100 people, is only few people that overcome it. Mm. Because it works with time. If you don't get your savior on time, there is no way. Mm. So, firstly, is how we see ourselves. Do we see ourselves as a human being? Mm. Do you see that I'm superior than this? We are not superior. Everybody is a soul. Yeah. Mm. So when, I, when you see, God said I created my, in my own image. Yes. So we continue. If we see you as my, as God image, I am God image, why I have to oppress you? Oppress you? Why I have to enslave you? So that is the aspect that is a mentality that needs to be changed. So, and when you look at this movie in the straight land, at Jolawa, you understand me? In the straight land means in the Ajoji. There is a lot happens. Mm. Because it's, when we're talking about in the Ajoji, it's like you are in heaven. And mm. you don't know, your parents yeah. mm. don't know what is happening mm. to you in heaven. Mm-hmm. So, and nobody go to heaven, come like that. Mm. So when you when you are in a straight land, a lot happens there yes. that you cannot tell it. Mm. But the way is, everybody just need to come out and mm. see, mm. partially directly, how we enslave each other, mm. how we perceive, how we see each other. But when you come out and watch this movie, I'm telling you, you'll be totally confused, and mm. your life will be transformed. Mm. That there are a lot of mistakes. That mm-hmm. you are doing, that you don't know, okay. and it will wait for you in future. And when they are saying it, they are using your action against you in future. You will say, "No, I don't mean that way. Mm-hmm. I don't mean that way. I don't mean that way." That is the way I can express myself. But you don't know that you are 
trying to enslave mm. other people. So we are so is the way we see ourselves first. That's why I said this world is a film. Yeah. Someone that acts as a king in a film mm. called In a Straight Land. In another film called Labo, the mm -hmm. person can be a slave. Yes. It's still the same a soul yes. playing yeah. different yeah. roles. Different roles. That doesn't disvalue you. Mm. God said I created you in a perfect image. Mm. Human beings are perfect creation. So why are we enslave each other? Mm. Thank you. Because of the material things. Mm. So we need to come out and watch this movie and see the facts there. Mm. And what is those are the things that we need to put right in order. Mm. So how can we help each other? How can we educate ourselves? It's not about fight. Mm. Sometimes women may say, ah, this is our mother. What do you mean that is our mother? Mm. There are a lot of people that they have gone through a lot of things. You don't look down on people. Mm. You see where we made mistakes. Mm. We said, ah, this person is our mother. And you keep the life of your children onto that our mother. Mm. But it's Omodo. You go to work and it's Omodo. Oh, that's true. Don't you know that is the Kiara? That is why they use Kiara here. So your future. That is yes. your future. So you take your future into the life of mm -hmm. Omodo. Mm -hmm. So who are you doing? You are ruining your life ideally. Mm -hmm. So if you treat Omodo very well, there are a lot of transformation of energy mm -hmm. from Omodo to your children. children. Because he or she spend more hours with your children, with your children than you. Mm. you it's just, it's just a, a, a typical example of those people that have drivers in Nigeria. Mm. For example, your driver is driving you and you say, Oh, show me no no joy, oh joy funny. And from behind, they'll just slap the driver. Mm. Oh. <laughs> no, I was no me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and the person is driving your life. You see, he's driving your life. Hmm, so those are true. the things that we do. It's like ah, uh, king. If you are a king in your palace, you understand me. You cannot do anything without the people mm, around you. Yeah. It means that you are nothing. Mm. If you think you are rich. Then, when you are doing events, put your money on the chair. <laughs> so true. that is why I don't say someone is a fashion designer and look down on the it's person. True. Ideally, you have do what you have seen the person as a slave. Mm. <laughs> it, he was having the clothes they were wearing. <laughs> so everybody cannot yeah, be a true. politician, cannot be a doctor. But the clothes doctor we wear that we protect doctor, mm. that we give doctor that honor. Don't forget. Somebody Those who it. sold the clothes of our graduation, mm. they don't have certificate. Mm. Wow. As a fashion designer, they don't have mm. it. But the graduation count that we will wear on that day, they are doing. If they don't sew it, I would mm. get it. It's it's won't get valued for, for that day. Thank you. So, having certificate or whatever anything you have, don't think you are the mm. you, are, you have is superior. Thank so you. everyone is a so. For those that are just joining us, um, we're talking about In a Strange Land. It's a movie that's coming on on the 9th of June, which we're encouraging everybody to come and watch. Um, we have Auntie Yetune, my boss lady, watching. Um, Pastor Topper said, one love. MC Ko, I cite you. Thank you for joining in. Student Fuji, we cite you. Thank you for joining in. And when we talk about people and, you know, um, enslaving slave, us, what about ourselves? See, like people that are going to Libya, forcing themselves because they want to get out in Nigeria. Now they say they have agents in Nigeria that they will lie to them and say they're taking them to Dubai or they're taking them somewhere, you know, and when they get there, there's no it's job, there's nothing. Them. You know, what can we, what can we, because people are watching us all over because of this movie now, you know, it's, it's bringing out a lot. Because now, you know, my brain is going to all these people. No, it, it, it's true. When I came into the movie industry, people were telling me, oh, you can't be doing a movie that makes people cry. You can't be doing a movie that make people, make people... Or sometimes when I, I, I approach sponsors, mm -hmm. and they say, oh, send me your script. I don't do film that will just to entertain you. Mm -hmm. I like to do film that has a theme. Yeah. Yeah, we can't just... Exactly. Yeah. We can't just be, we can't all be in the entertainment world and be doing film that will make yeah. you laugh all the time. Yeah. 
somebody has to bring us to the mm. reality mm. of life. The reality of life. Yes. Somebody's got to wake us up. Yes. That hello, I'm laughing, but he's crying. Mm. Somewhere he's there crying. Yes. Yes. Mm. So that somebody's got to throw the message the there that this person that is mm. crying, how do we make him or her laugh? Mm. So please, guys out there, don't ever expect movie from me to make you laugh. <laughs> I can throw one or two things there to make you laugh, but my movie will always have a, a theme. So it's something to educate people. Yeah. See, even talking about this movie, I cannot wait till the nineteenth. Along with that, show you on the nineteenth. On the ninth. On the ninth. On the ninth. Sorry, yeah. I cannot wait. Even though it's just, it just just round the corner. It's only round the corner, but yeah. I can't About wait to this, watch it. Oh this, gosh, I can't student wait. Student pounds is the ticket. It's very important to me. You know? When you say student ten pounds. Do they have to bring the ID to yeah. show that? Student with ID, yeah. ID. So you have to bring your ID. Don't lie. Hey, noble police, I have ID. <laughs> Standard 25 pounds and VIP 50 pounds. And I can see that they can go on www.brightevents.com. Yeah. Can they pay there too? Or? Yes. And if they need a ticket without going on the internet, where can they get the ticket As from? soon as you make a payment, it comes straight to us that someone has paid, and then we can print out all the details and bring it to us with us on the night. Yeah. Okay. And for those people, it's not all of us that know about computer. <laughs> can those they pay on that day? Oh, yeah. You can Call. buy... You can buy from Toplotech. You can buy. Some people can buy from YouTube. Yes. Some people can contact us and buy. There's some numbers on the flyer you can... You can call to buy tickets, and on the door or at the okay. door that day, yes. you can buy. buy but please, well. we have a lot of important dignities coming from the British people. Mm. I don't want us to come late. No because African time. No African time. Yes. It's not even African movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, Ilua Joji, I mean, yeah, it's it's strange. Ilua Joji, Ilua Joji. Yeah. So it's strange a strange line. line. We don't want anybody to come anytime. Come at the time that it's saying. From Red what carpet, time? Seven p.m. Seven p.m. So if, if you want, want to take to pictures with Alex, <laughs> eh, Top Low Tech, you me. want to show the fine dresses you're wearing, the fine shoes, yeah, Gucci, <laughs> Gucci and Versace. <laughs> Please come, come on the seven. red carpet and come and sell yourself to the world. <laughs> We're going to have um, Nollywood movies. We're going to have Ben Television. We're going to have uh, Noble People International Magazine yes. on the red carpet. We're going to have um, African Dazzle on the red carpet. And many more media houses will be there to, to showcase whatever you're wearing. So please don't let your goosey and your Fantastic. Uh, go, go to, to nothing. Yes. They must so so cases. <laughs> so what time is the actual film starting? The film is actually starting at eight thirty on the dot. Eight thirty on the dot. You know, if you are one minute late, you miss one minute part of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mister Topletech, I want you to follow this thing. Oh, I want you oh. to put salt, pepper. <laughs> and I want you to put Maggie. You want me to put my in my gear? Okay. They don't use salt anymore. Are you ready to listen? They are ready. <laughs> wow. In a straight line. In a straight line. Ilya Joji. A Jolawa. Poligi Akelo Kodele. She put him up. On your book. In some work. On your book. In some work. On your work. On your work. On Ilya Joji. A Jolawa. Kilo de. To wa wa. To le le le. To ba to fa fa. Ti o to ra wa. Ma gen ta. Bo bo bito tin shi she. Ma lo bi e ru ni. To li pe o ti ro na ba yon yon. Come out and watch this movie and get solutions to what? To your problem. Ajolawa. Thank you so much. Let me practice that. Ila Joji! Ila Joji! A film you must watch on the night of June 2017. Let's get together. You know, holiday is here now. The kids are on holiday. They're going to trouble you this holiday. So come and have time for yourself. Come and enjoy yourself on the night of June 2017. Come and hang with Noble Police, which is me. Come and hang with my sister here, the producer. <laughs> Come and hang with Toplotech Entertainment. And my boss, Noble himself, if you haven't seen him before, it's an opportunity for you to meet him on that day. We're going to see Chief Ken on that day. We're going to see Larry King. So many people are coming.
me on the 9th of June 2017. I beg, book your ticket quick, quick. Yo, if you if you don't book on time, if they put you for the back, no complain. No, they tell you so. Na 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 mixed event. Me, I go be there. Be your lady. I have my Igbo lady. I have my Indian Chinese. Everybody, we go be there. Is there gonna be a refreshment? Me, I love to go. Okay, then. Uh, refreshment. There will be people standing at the door. Anybody can come from work, come and buy food at the door. And don't forget, there's going to be after party. Yo, but now where would it, the after party be? After party, we're going to announce it on the day. On the day. So wear your facade. The double after party. The double after party. You like party. DJ stuff. You do if you like, you like live, live band. band, you know where you're supposed to meet. If you the like following Friday or the following Saturday, we're going to do like with you are, two and two are. Two and two are stuff. No bad time. <laughs> <laughs> I still want you to encourage people to come because this time really educated, which I'm loving right now. Like I said, I cannot wait to the night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. because um, I, I, you know, watching a little bit clips of Vic Lasson, I was like, wow, this is the film that I would like to watch and get involved with. So can you tell people that are just joining us just a little bit more? Well, for the benefit of the people that have just tuned in to Noble People International Magazine Radio and Television, we are here live with Kike Diamond. She's bringing it to you as we welcome her. We are on the topic of the new movie of myself, Rosalind Sani Ajose, In a Strange Land. In a Strange Land is basically a, a, a true life story of modern day slavery and human trafficking. This is a true life story. We're not lying Mm. to you. People are going through suffering. People are going through agony in the land that is supposed to be producing Mm. milk and Mm. honey. Mm, Yeah, yeah. You know what's funny about it? What really funny and so painful is when they go to village. Mm. That is how I say, why why we don't have Iman Phyllis? They will tell our father, our mother, oh, let's have your junior daughter. Invite before you realize, we will make him be a guard mate. We will turn him to where the person he will be looking after you. And when we turn here, we will ask, oh yeah, we need to make a covenant. Mm. For five years, you will be serving me. Yes. And you will not call your mom for a second. Mm. I think that is very, very, very yes. wrong. And it's very common. Wrong. Yeah, you know, we, we are on the, the, the British people that they came to colonize us, mm. that they they, they, they we are blaming them. Exactly. And we are the one and we are the one black people doing it to ourselves, mm. not these people now of mm. other color. So my guys out there, my people, my mother, my sister, my oh, brother, please. my uncle. You need to come out and watch this movie. I want you it's to come touching. out in numbers. Mm. Come and see this film. Yes. It is it's not just about the money. We're going to get the money and support people that have been affected with this story. Mm. We're going to support the victim of modern day slavery. So don't think you're gonna, I'm gonna come out, give uh, RSA my money and she's going Mm. to be rich. It's not about me being rich. God has already blessed me. I'm a nurse and I'm still practicing as a nurse. I can afford a three square meal with my salary. But this film, In a Strange Land, we are going to use the proceeds to, 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 to support people that have been affected with the topic we're treating today. Mm. We have a lot of people coming, the Anti-Slavery Commissioner from the British people. We have the representative of the Home Office. We have um, Africa Children Charity Organization in London. They are basically based on raising the awareness of modern day slavery. They're coming. We have Mayor of Thorock is going to come and support the, the movie. We have councillors from Enfield Borough. We have a mayor of Greenwich. Mm, they they're going to come. A lot of important dignitaries. The Nigerian High Commission, they're all going to come out to support us. If you want to mingle with these people, you want to support the victim of modern day slavery, please don't think of RSA. Think of these people. Mm. It could be your mom. It could be your brother. Yes. It could be your sister. It could even be your own daughter. So mm. please and come and support this film in a strange land. It's showing on the 9th of June at the Lighthouse Cinema Hall in Camberwell. Please come out. Thank you. For those that are just joining, Teddy, Teddy Bling, Bling says hello, Noble Police. Hello. Tell me, Bless, thank you for joining in. Allah, Wumi, Ajayi, thank you for joining in. It's sad sometimes when I hear, you know, 
bringing um, underage or our mm. teenagers in the country to come and do uh, a model and things exactly. like that. And you know what they go through in the house, they're not allowed to go out, they will mm -hmm. promise them education, and when they get here, they can't do nothing. And they end up running away, and when they run away now, voila, they start saying, oh, that, that child, oh, yeah, exactly. or somewhere, yeah. shaking it. It's very sad. So it's when you even look at the translation, the person in the house, uh, mm. why you call him a model? <laughs> <laughs> you can see, house helper. Mm. Is that the meaning, a model? No. Mm. House helper. Someone to help you in your house. It doesn't well, mean that it's... Well, the, the question is, we're not saying people shouldn't have a house helper. Uh, but treat them nice. Treat them well. Yes. Treat them well. If treat your children like can eat chicken, can talk it chicken. Mm. Give it to them to eat as well. But the yes. Of your children ah. is in their hands. Yes. yes. Hmm. But she bear with that woman. It's true. And and the funny thing is, most of these children self, they love them. They love the house. They always love. But it's these love parents them, yeah. that keep them apart. I said, don't associate with them. Oh my God, my you can you can 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 It shouldn't be like that. Yeah, it shouldn't be like that. So we should know how to keep each other in the right way, treat each other well, the edge or you know, somebody that I have today, I have tomorrow, that will be the person helping this person you're calling a model. Might be millionaire if you go and play lottery, but I hear me, oh, don't win a million. You that are waiting there, that you're working inside your house, is looking after your children. That a model will play lottery and win. What did you hell on here? I'm gonna read this out. It's um in a strange land, is one of the um poster. It says a true life story on modern day slavery, human trafficking. Awata and She Amorawa. And we that are doing it, you know, to, to help. Help in a good way. Fine. O queen, o colon. But you that are doing it to help in a bad way, just because of the it's money you want to get out. It's not only it's in different it's ways, it's you know. In professional field. Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna read a little bit more on it. Is a modern slavery is on the rise in the UK, and and the fight against it continues. Modern slavery is an appealing crime that has no place in today's society. However, this is often out of sight in many homes, schools, shops, behind the curtain, right, yeah. of ordinary streets mm -hmm. and in the community. In a strange line movie, rises. The, uh, raises the awareness and the consequences of being a perpetrator and how to put a stop to this crime within our community. Our lives begin the day we start to speak out to put an end to slavery. Say no to modern slavery. Say no to modern slavery. Notice it's reported. It's a must film to watch on the night of June at... Lighthouse Cinema Hall, 254 to 270 Camberwell Road, London SE5 ODP. London SE5 ODP. It's in it's on Camberwell Road. It's an easy place to find. It's in front of Nollywood, right? Opposite Planet is not far. Planet, Planet, yeah, Planet Nollywood is is not far there. And ticket is ten pound for students. Our former students, bingo is former bingo. yeah, former bingo former in Camberwell on the left hand side, depending on where you're coming from. The, the ticket is £10 for students, £25 standard, and £40, pounds, £50, pounds. 50 pounds, sorry, for VIP. You can book on www.eventbrite.co.uk. You can buy ticket from Toplotech, you can buy from us, you can buy from RSA. You can also pay on that day. But please, no African time. You know, we're in a strange land. So we are not in Nigeria, African time. This is England time. So please be on time. Red carpet is at 7 p.m. dot. If you're wearing Fasasi, Amani, Busi, come and show it. And if you're even not wearing nothing like me, I'm coming. No, Nikedo. <laughs> I'm coming with normal clothes. I will still, I will still go on red carpet because I'm sure that I came. If you don't show on red carpet, how would I know that you went there? When they're showing the picture now, you didn't go there. You be telling me, "Oh, I'm there." Is anybody on the red carpet? So be there at seven. And you know what? When you get there at seven, you have opportunity to meet people. You have opportunity to interact. You have opportunity to introduce your own business and introduce yourself and see different people on the stage. That you know, I've, we've done. 
one yeah. film together now. Nah. And that day me that was even presenting. I told the presenter mic somewhere. I started, <laughs> in, I started interacting with people now, getting to know them. And I get some contact. You know, this kind of thing is it's just an opportunity for us to meet to other nice. Yes. Yeah. To meet other people. It's not only about the movie, but this movie it's an educative educational <laughs> movie. That we must watch you know we've been watching so many films that we'll go we'll go and laugh <laughs> but this one you would just you know from even watching it you would just sit down and start thinking of others if you had the mind before that is not good you will change this this movie will change you you know this movie will encourage you more to do more for your community it's not about watching a film that will be laughing will be cracking joke will be shake money for the people that is making it no <laughs> this one it's it's different or Tony, it's different, and for you to know that it's different, you must be there, you must watch it. Don't let me come and ruin you for you, and I will even not come and ruin you for you because I want you to watch it. So, come on that day, 9th of June, it's just around the corner. Book the date, it's on Friday. You know, the Saturday you have for or you have off. I know, don't say you're going to work, you're not going to work. So, that Friday, you could have a good day, have after party after the event, I have after party, and um. Lighthouse is a big place. There's no you step on my door. No, it's a big place. We have downstairs, we have upstairs, we have front row, we have middle, we have so it's a space that can contain every one of us. You can bring your family, you can bring children to come. Don't bring little baby, oh please. We don't want to cry cry when we're watching film. <laughs> So come and enjoy yourself. Come with your boyfriend. Come with your girlfriend. Come with your friend. Come with your best friend. Come with your uncle. Come with your sister, mommies and daddies. We want you to watch this, especially if you're in a strange land. Ajojilawa. Let's encourage one another as well to watch it. And by watching this, we can phone back home, you know, and encourage people in Nigeria, wherever as well, to encourage them that this thing is not good. So if, if there's somebody there already that you know that wants to bring somebody for a bad purpose, you can just, you know, by watching this, this can encourage you to help. You know, and when, like um, RSA says, when you see someone next door that you know that they, you know, they are that person inside the house, try to help. Don't say waiting consign. You know, but you bring the person. I don't want to allow. Please, you know, if you help that person, you don't know what great favor you're doing to yourself and your children and your generation. This is an educative movie to watch on the night of June. This is Noble People International Magazine. Noble people, Noble Police, encouraging you to come on the on the night of June. Come, come and hang with me now. Wait, see. me and you, they fight. <laughs> so if you want to see my face on the 9th of June, join me. Yes, Auntie Sean says, nobody knows tomorrow. Yes, nobody knows tomorrow. So whoever have evil, that you, all you want to do is go and bring someone. You want to come and make them a share in London because of your own gain, that they will be giving you peanuts, you know, making money from one place to another. You're transferring these people. You yourself can catch their HIV, that yes. person we get. Oh yeah, because, there, there was a typical story that someone gave me about the house help. Hmm. They noticed they had the house help, and they suddenly they noticed their children started falling ill, hmm. and um, they just decided, to, okay, we don't understand why my children are sick. So they decided to, they did so many tests, nothing was found. So the doctor now suggested that, okay, let's do HIV hmm. test, HIV AIDS test. Lo and behold, they did it. The children was positive. HIV positive. They now test the mom and the dad negative. Mm. So, you know, it's like, huh? Mm. Where did they contact HIV from? Do you know where they contact HIV from? From the Omo Odo. Mm. Omo Odo, each time the mom and the dad are not in, she'll go and be using the children's toothbrush mm. to brush her own teeth. Mm. And because they want him to be using. Mm. Exactly. Oh, 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 so she will be doing. Uh, she be doing an experiment when the the mm. mom and the dad are not home. Mm. Take the children toothbrush and toothpaste. She want to test it too. She want to mm. feel the experiment. Yeah. So she be using the children toothbrush from there. Transferred HIV head to the children. So you can see. Can Look down on people. Yeah. Sometimes you are affecting the progress of yourself. There's nothing. And when you look at things in general. Mm. When we are talking about education, it's not about going to school. Mm. It's to be educated about life. Yes. Enlightenment. There are a lot of people that they are lack of it. Mm. And that is why, you see, the opportunity we have in 
Western where it's the center, there are a lot of medium of communications. But back home, there are nothing to, uh, like today, I'm watching one of the programs that uh, the wife of our president did. You know, he utters, she utters some statement. When she presents this statement, and I see that it's a fact. Look, let's look at it. Uh, there are some certain things, certain rules that women must not be talking in public. Mm. You understand? Number one is slave. Mm. Yes. Because they, they have put some limitation. Meanwhile, you know, being a Muslim, as I know about religion a bit, in the old days, during the life of Prophet Muhammad Ali Muhammad, her first daughter lead the war is the one that aired before they now decided to choose um, Alifa. So you can't say the role of a woman is not important. It's part of slavery. So when you look at all this, I thought that um, our people are not educated enough about life. So we've put some certainties that this Men must do, man must be doing this, women must be doing this. So these are the things that it needs to be balanced. Mm -hmm. up. There are some rules that men need to come to participate. I used to tell people that let's be realistic. Man is the head of the house. But the owner of the home mm -hmm. is, the, is two different things. Mm -hmm. House and home is two different things. So how the home will be comfortable in based on the woman's hand. Mm -hmm. And those are the fact that we don't understand about slave or no slave. So back to the word in a strange land. Mm -hmm. Everybody will find us. Mm -hmm. Even though when you are born to a family, you are a stranger there. Mm -hmm. Until when you started growing that, oh, this is your father. It's what they told you that this is your father. Exactly. How I do mean, you know? How do you know? Oh, your blood is the same. Even though your blood is not the same. Hmm. If what is, you are a stranger, anywhere you are, you are a stranger. Yes. So, if you are a king in a place, there are so many kings, hmm. like say, ah, I'm a king in Nevada, hmm. I'm a king in Nevada. You can go to America and they may not recognize you because you are a stranger there. That's right. So, don't think that because you are living in a mansion means you have it up. You can go to another place and be a stranger. So any stranger in your own cover, teach them well. Yes. The fact is, what you cannot take, don't give it to them. Yes. So either you employ them or you don't employ them. Don't see them as someone that is... Because they are valued. That is why you employ them. If they are not valued, why you have to employ yes. them? Yes. You need their service. You need them. That is why you brought them from Nigeria. Mm. So why? He said, you don't want him to have the brightness of the world. Mm. So it means that sometimes we, by affecting the life of each other, we are limiting our growth in life. So those are the aspects that area of slave, mm. modern slavery come. So we don't need to enslave each other. Yes. So for you to understand the main fact of this movie in a straight line, you need to come out yes. on Friday night, 2017, at Lighthouse Campbell, SE5 0 D. Red carpet from 7 p.m. Please don't miss it. My viewers, hmm? you know, I'm not the owner of the show. It's <laughs> Kike's show. I know you're expecting me to see my cat. I used to follow the protocol. <laughs> We're all the same. Same, 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 same. Same, no, no need. Just join me on Friday. I'm join in on Friday. Come Light on. out, yes. 7 p.m. By 5 p.m., I'm here to give you my, your ticket. Give me cash. And that's mm -hmm. how it goes. You know, cash, cash, don't forget, cash and watch. <laughs> don't forget that. The money you are paying us, yes. we can say, come and watch the movie free. But how do we want to finance another mm -hmm. one? The message needs to be transformed, yes. to be transferred throughout the whole world. So please, if you want to be a sponsor as well, we don't mind. You can still join us and be a sponsor. Mm -hmm. You know, just to do what? To campaign against mother slavery. Yes. You know, everybody, God will not enslave us. Amen. Where was the movie shoot? Yeah, or Nigeria? Um, in London and in Asaba, Nigeria. Okay. okay. Uh, and you know what? Some people tend to forget that these people that we're bringing from Nigeria, wherever we're bringing them, 
their own our life. Yeah. So they can do anything. We're going to take a break right now to show you the advert again for those that are just joining. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. Are you being serious? Stupid! I, what is it? I, I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Just get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear queens? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with? That you're kissing in the car? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. Are you being serious? I, what is it? I, I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange man. Get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. You have a very beautiful home. I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. <laughs> Go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear queens? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Ramon I just saw you with? People International Magazine, TV and Radio, I still have RSA with me. We're not going anywhere to I get people saying I am coming. So if you are coming, show some love and say you're coming to support us. It's not about the money. We want to use the money to encourage and to help people that are in slavery. So we're here at Number People International Magazine. I'm Kike Diamond Noble Police. As usual, I'm on every Friday, 7.30. So today is about in a movie called In a Strange Land. Modern slavery comes in many forms. A Rosalind Sunny I just say movie. Did I get the name right? So just tell us a little bit, just a little bit again about the movie. Not everything, you know, if you tell them everything. <laughs> well, the movie is basically about modern day slavery. It's a true life story of modern day slavery and human trafficking. Basically, it's about a lady that has been brought from abroad, and you can imagine all the horrible things on earth being done to her with her madam. So, Please come out. Yes, on the 9th of June 2017. Yeah. So we're coming here. See, I had to come back. I said, let's take a break, but I'm coming back again just to encourage us to come and watch this. It's not even about only encouraging you. It's about you taking, you know, you know, sometimes we've been working, 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 cooking, 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 not having any fun, not having any outing. So it's time for you to have a break. Mommy. Please, if daddy say let's go, don't say mm, me or law. Follow daddy. Mm -hmm. And daddy, please, if mommy said I want to go and watch in a strange land on the 9th of June, let her go. She's safe with me. Mm -hmm. I will be a police. I will be a guide on that day. And mommy, I will be daddy's guide on. Don't worry, no strange attack. I won't stay. I won't go close to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so come out and even you can come together. Eh? Mommy and daddies, you can come together. Bring aunties, bring uncles, bring your teenagers, you know. People that you know that they can learn from this. Get a group together. Phone your friend around. Say there's a movie coming out on 9th of June at the lighthouse. Let's go to the... Come and have fun. It's not a balagbo every time. There's some time you just need a 
good quiet, quiet time, time for yourself that yeah. like you want to sit and relax and watch not only on youtube youtube only in our house are you not tired of watching youtube in your house every single single day this one is gonna be in a big big screen and where you will meet people associate with people you meet you know different different category of people from everywhere are coming we have the um mayors. mayors come in we have people from england the meeting me oroi bori i'm going to meet on <laughs> on that day i've only seen our own people do 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 every time i want to meet on yimbo now maybe i will shake on yimbo on yimbo pepe chuku chuku pepe you know i want to meet on yimbo that day you know i want to meet different people people that i've not met before because i know on that day i will meet people that i've not seen before so it's an opportunity for me to to go out and enjoy you know i'm gonna come on show that day but i'm gonna finish quick 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 and run to in a strange land is a movie called in a strange land so um top tech will be there noble people will be there rsa will be there chief ken will be there larry king will be there we have so many 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 sam obiago will be there yeah ingozi thomas will be there yeah. william kenneth will be there so simon will be there larry king judith chuku, chuku will be there Lucian Morgan will be there. Emma Benson, Benson, Benson will be there. Yeah, we'll Come on, why won't I be there? Why won't you be there? Let's make a date. If let's make it blind date, if you haven't seen me, <laughs> so that day I can introduce myself. You can introduce yourself and say mm-hmm. I saw your thing on Noble People International Magazine. That's why I'm here. Let's help each other and encourage each other. If you don't come and support our lady here, how will she be going up? <laughs> eh? You know, if you have business as well, we'll encourage, we'll support. Even if you're selling common sweets, we will buy. Because that's the way we want to see people. We can step up, up, one by one. But if you are saying, also today is movie, movie, every time. No, it's not about that. This is a different movie. This is another movie that you've never watched before. This is a storyline that you've never even seen on telly or, or, or YouTube. This is a new one. Let's support everybody in London. We are in a strange land. Mm-hmm. So this movie is talking to us. Let's support our sister, support noble people. Don't let me talk for nothing today. You say I've been drinking, well, I've drank like four bottles of water today now, eh? <laughs> so please, on the 9th of June, I've seen everyone show me love. When I say show me some love, if you are coming, thank you because I know you come. You not lie to me. I can see your name. So that day, I want to see you on the red carpet. Come and take pictures with RSA. Come and take picture with mayors. I know you be saying, "Shall I see the mayor?" These ones are different. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a London premiere on the 9th of June, 2017, Lighthouse Cinema Hall, 254 Stroke 27. 270 Camberwa Road, London SE5 ODP on the 9th of June. Red carpet starts at 7 people, 7 p.m. So come on time. There's parking there. You know, after 6:30, there's free parking. Mostly everywhere in London, there's there's free, especially southeast. There's free parking. There's parking on the on the road, main road. There's parking on the right hand side. And we got parking for people at the back for free. You see. So don't worry about where would I park. And buses, if you're talking about buses, forget. Hey, if you know how many buses that comes to Camberwell, anywhere you live, just ask you're going to Camberwell. You see that you get one or two boxes, buses, it will take you there. Mm-hmm. So don't worry about transportation, how you will get there. It's easy. It's, it's an easy, open environment to get to. And it's on the high street, so there's no way you're going to miss and start looking, where am I going? No. And Lighthouse is a big place. I've been there, so I know. And the toilet is clean. So please come and meet us on the night. This is why we're here today. Without you, we are nobody. You see? We are nice people now. You see our pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> so come and meet RSA on the 9th, June 2017. Take the stress out on you. Take it off you. You know, you've been babysitting your kids every time. Come and have fun. Come and enjoy it. Once a while, it's not too bad. And our Muslim people, happy, uh, what do you call it? Is it Ramadan? Happy, yeah. yeah, we're in the fasting period. Fasting does not stop you from coming to watch movie. You know, this is something we can... This, this is the time that you even need to sit down and watch something through your fasting. So you can digest it and say, hmm, Allah, Wakuba, God, you are great. Allah, you're great. So don't say uh, one hour we're early, Jade. It's not about one hour. This this is something we can learn from. It's not something you just come and start laughing or what is this? No. Mm-hmm. 
so please i'm encouraging everyone from everywhere regardless who you are where you're from a strange land let's come and support on the 9th of june i'm just gonna have our sister here to say thank you to everybody that is watching while noble will be coming in hello viewers out there again once again i say thank you very much for tuning in to watch kike diamond and myself the producer of the movie in a strange land and um, we'd love to see you on the 9th of june 2017 at the lighthouse cinema hall camberwell london se 50 dp don't be told come out and support Yes, come out and support. And thank you for watching. We don't have much to say anymore. Have a lovely night, a beautiful weekend. Night is next week, isn't it? Uh, is no, it? the week after. Week after. So book it down, you know. Book that appointment. 7 p.m. Finish work early. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed night. That you're kissing in the car. Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? Stupid. I, what is it? I gave you my daughter and you took her to a strange life.